This is going to be long. I have to subscribe to you. I'll do it. Do you want to do the wrap up? I'll do it. Unless you want us. Well, it's Neil's best man. He asked me to make a speech, but I'm also their shrink. <laughs> Just so, in case. She really is. She really is. So there's also. What? <laughs> Emma, I have cards. Aren't there client, <laughs> uh, client uh, privileges and client patients? Well, that's why I decided not to talk about them. I decided that I was going to talk about love. So I did a little research project, if you guys know me at all. <laughs> I research. I need to know, I need to explain, I need to understand. So this is what I found out about love. As I was reading and thinking about it, I realized that it's probably the most complex concept that we have. I know, and I've heard, in fact last week, I was reading where a character skied down a mountain slope and said to his friend, this is better than sex. I know when I go to my local gelato place, the chocolate chip mint is better than sex. <laughs> but I've never heard anybody say, ever, that anything is better than love. No. So I began to wonder, what is this concept? What is this thing that's just so important to all of us? That's more important than anything that we just don't joke about. So. I understand that, and I come from a very cognitive behavioral place. I looked at humans, and I kind of looked at animals, and I tried to see if there was anything like that in the animal kingdom, and there really isn't. I think that humans are unique in that we have, unfortunately, an awareness of our own existence while we're existing. We can be flies on our own walls. And what that causes is a feeling of separateness, aloneness, and isolation. And I think isolation scares the crap out of us. And part of what love does is it takes that aloneness and it pushes it away. There are different kinds of love relationships. The first one is the only love that's, or the only thing I think in life that's for nothing. And that's our mother's unconditional love that says, no matter who you are, it's okay that you're you. The only other time we may or may not experience unconditional love is our pets unless you're familiar with parrots. Parrots, <laughs> parrots don't do unconditional. But dogs and cats do, I'm sure llamas and goats do also, but not parrots. <laughs> the next relationship is with our dads. And that relationship, that love, his respect, his love, we have to earn. And personally, I like that idea because I don't think that anything should be for nothing. I think that the quality of our lives and the quality of our relationships should be able to be controlled by the effort that we put into them. Our fathers start us off, and if we have reasonable dads, they give us a lot of latitude with regard to their judgment and their acceptance. The next relationships that we experience are usually siblings. Siblings are about protecting them, sharing with them, competing with them, and negotiating with them. After that, we graduate to friendships. Friendships are about teams and about feeling a part of something bigger than ourselves, bigger than our families, working together and shooing away the demons. After that, there's, there's school, there's work, and even hobbies. Hobbies are amazing diversions with regard to that feeling of being totally alone and isolated. And we love our hobbies because our hobbies make us feel that we don't, we're not aware of our existence. All of this, I think, leads us up to the ultimate relationship, which is the romantic relationship. And I believe that's why we're here, to honor Patrick and Neil's love. If you know them, 
and I do a little, I think you will all agree with me that they have brought art, uh, brought love to an art form. They love each other, they respect each other, they have problems, they work on them, they do things together, <coughs> and above all, after all is said and done, there's a magic that you experience when you're with them that is beautiful to behold. It's been a privilege and an honor to be part of your lives. And the magic just can't be beat. I wouldn't be me if I didn't give you a little bit of advice. <laughs> I think you guys have brought a tremendous amount to the table that you've decided to share with each other. And I will ask you to be very aware when something comes off the table. I think what's on the table, your talents, your humor, your love for each other, your sharing, your caring, and all of that, is the deal that you're making today. That has to change over time. It can't stay stagnant. You don't want it to stay stagnant. But on the other hand, be aware that if you take something off the table, you're changing the deal. The deal can't be changed unilaterally. And if you change something, if you take something off the table, be very aware that it's your responsibility to put something back on the table of life, kind, and quality. So I ask you to stick to today's deal, negotiate together any changes you guys decide to make, and above all, don't fuck it up. <laughs>